Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Sultanate of Oman, Sayyid Badr bin Hamad bin Hamoud Al Busaidi, following the Minister's visit to the Kingdom to participate in the seventh session of the Bahraini Omani Joint Ministerial Committee. At the start of the meeting, His Royal Highness welcomed the Minister to Bahrain before greetings were exchanged on behalf of the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Haytham bin Tariq Al Said, and by His Royal Highness underlining His Majesty the King. Kings and the Sultan of Oman's support for close bilateral relations. His Royal Highness recognized the shared history and interest that underpins growing bilateral relations between the two countries and the role of the seventh session of the Bahraini Omani Joint Committee in promoting co cooperation and shared objectives. For his part, the Minister Al Busaidi expressed his appreciation for His Royal Highness's efforts to nurture further cooperation between the two nations. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani and the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa were in attendance. The Council of Representatives Speaker Fauzi Ibn Abdullah Zainal participated in the official parliamentary meeting held in the Korean capital on the occasion of her visit to South Korea. During the meeting, Zainal affirmed the depth of relations between Bahrain and South Korea in all fields under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the President of South Korea. Zainal highlighted Bahrain's experience in combating the coronavirus pandemic and shared how the Director General of the WHO expressed during his visit to the Kingdom his admiration for the measures taken by Bahrain as well as the efforts of Team Bahrain led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. She added that the WHO Director General also lauded the measures taken by the government to ensure the health and safety of citizens and residents based on the humanitarian approach of His Majesty the King. The National Assembly Speaker Park byung Song has praised Bahrain's comprehensive development process, stressing that South Korea considers Bahrain the gateway to invest and optimal operations or cooperation thanks to its comprehensive development in politics and economy. After the meeting, the two sides signed an MOU in culmination of the long-standing friendship between Bahrain and Korea and their people. The president of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr. Abdel Hussein Mirza, chaired the 24th meeting of the National Committee to follow up and execute the National Plan for Sustainable Energy and Energy Efficiency. The meeting discussed various initiatives and achievements for renewable energy projects. It also agreed on allowing commercial registration for renewable energy contractors. And to talk more about this, we are joined over the phone by the president of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr. Abdel Hussein Mirza. Mirza. Welcome to the news, Dr. Mirza. Good evening, Sarah, and thank you for hosting me. Dr. Mirza, can you please tell us about the new commercial registration for renewable energy contractors and how it will be managed by the authority? Um, as you know, uh, the Ministry of Industry and Commerce keeps a register of all commercial registrations in Bahrain. The CRs are classified under different classification numbers according to the type of business activity in different sectors of the economy. Mm -hmm. However, there is no, currently there is no classification for renewable energy, contractors in the renewable energy sector, because nobody used renewables in the past. Uh, however, with the establishment of the Sustainable Energy Authority, the interest and uh, business in renewable energy is flourishing and is growing. But those contractors in the renewable energy sector cannot get a CR currently to authorize them to doing renewable energy mm -hmm. because none, uh, none exists in the Ministry of Industry registry. Yeah. Therefore, we at the Sustainable Energy Authority recommended to the Consent Ministerial Infrastructure Committee that a new CR classification should be established for renewable energy under the classification number 332, which is installation of machinery and equipment, in the register or sigillat of the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, 
so that uh, the the contractors can uh, apply and get registered. The ministerial committee approved this recommendation and to regulate who will be eligible, what are the criteria for eligibility, and what classes of classification in the registry will be given, there will be a ministerial edict mm -hmm. issued by the president of the Sustainable Energy identifying these criteria and regulations. And any uh, uh, contractor in renewable energy, if he goes to the Ministry of Industry and asks to register in this classification, they will refer him to the uh, Sustainable Energy Authority, and we will check that he meets all the criteria, then give approval for him to be registered. Right. And we will keep a, a, a register of all those who are approved as the renewable energy contractors. And therefore, when people want to use an e contractor, they can refer to that list. Right. That's amazing, Doctor. And that's another example of the vast cooperation between the government entities. Thank you for being with us. And that was the president of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr. Ablasim Mirza. Thank you for being with us. Bahrain has strongly condemned the attack launched by the Houthi terrorist group on Al Anad military base in Yemen, killing and injuring dozens in the attack that contradicts all moral and human values and principles. In a statement, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirmed Bahrain's full solidarity with Yemen in its efforts to restore legitimacy and liberate the Yemeni governance from the Houthi group. It also stressed that such attacks reflect the Houthi obstinacy to escalate military attacks and destabilize security in the region. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,143,653 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,086,651 had taken the second, and 251,539 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 948 with 101 recoveries and 95 registered new cases. 39 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 43 are contacts of active cases and 13 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.